Hi guys, got a super bonus. You're gonna love this. So stay tuned and check this out. Hi guys, my name is Darren and welcome to another one of my bonuses. Now this bonus is a little bit unique, it's probably something you don't know about. It's a little bit of white hat or maybe a bit of grey hat technology, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go through it together of how we're going to try and stop the dreaded adverts that come up on YouTube. Now the problem is with YouTube is sometimes when you do a review, which you want your customers etc to, to be looking, um, you want to direct them in the right place, especially if you've got something like your product or it's a, a review that you're doing, it's a niche that you're selling and it's on the landing page. And then all of a sudden, it, the end credits or the end videos actually go to someone else who's selling perhaps a similar product. And then, of course, they obviously get the sales. So it's a bit awkward, okay? Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can either go to Vimeo, and you can sign up there and use it and get, and basically have Vimeo, all right? Now, the only problem is with that is it will cost you some money to do that. But obviously, if you've got a business and you've got a recurring income, then it's not going to be a problem. So there is that option. The other uh, way is I'm going to reduce the screen and we're going to go through it together. Okay, so um, if you check out ghacks.net, which is ghacks.net, you will come across a screen here, okay? And what it does, it works by um, manipulating the YouTube extension, which is Iridium, and it is a feature that we will be able to configure using a content blocker, okay? Uh, how we're going to do that is we're going to use a little bit of grey hat technology. We're going to use uBlock Origin, and what uBlock Origin is, is it is a Chrome-based web at, um application that you can put in onto your chrome so obviously um, if you're using the chrome browser you literally just have to click on the link all right guys and you'll find it on there you just click the link and what that will do is that will take you straight to the web browser and then you just to let it install and then once it's installed what that's going to do is that is going to give you an extension so you can add these actual lines in now do bear in mind there are two things that you should remember before doing this one of them is it could take out your comments okay so you will be able to stop the actual end videos from playing up it will give a black screen so it will create like a, a video wall which will just basically be black but it could take out the comments as well all right so this is something that'd be really good for a landing page or if you're doing a tutorial on training and using your YouTube video, all right? Because what you can do then is it doesn't matter if it's going to take that out because people are going to be using that particular website that you're going to for training, but you're not going to get all of the videos that are coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the whole process now. So we're going to check out and find out which one is which I've installed. So in theory, it should be the very last one it's going to go through this bit by bit so locate the open dashboard icon and activate it to open the preferences switch to my fields tab when the dashboard opens add the line video walls end screen to set the set of rules so add the line video wall end screen to set of rules you may also want to add so we want to add this line here copy and we're now going to add the line into the U block. So what we're looking now is U block resource or generic. So my filters. So we're now going to pop it into the filters now. So we're going to right mouse click and paste. And we're going to apply changes. Okay guys, now we're going to run 
YouTube. So I'm going to go back to my YouTube, my videos, your videos. Right, let's try this one. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to roll this across to there. And what should happen now is it should stop. If, as soon as I cancel, that's coming up with these as well. So what we're going to do now is you can see that it actually does go blank. What we'll do is we need to add in and next extensions, which are these ones here. Copy that. And we're just gonna pop them in there, like that, and apply changes. And then we're gonna go back to our YouTube again. And we are gonna go back. Hi guys, my name and we're all the way again and we're going to play cancel that so we're going to just shut this off shut this one off shut this one off and we open YouTube scroll is it's nearly finished and hit the play button and then hopefully we should do it now okay so you can see now that we've got the black screen now this is what we wanted to achieve now the reason being is as I said before is if it's on the landing page etc and it comes up with all of these reviews then it's quite possible that because you're doing a review on a certain niche or a certain category that category is going to come up so just by doing those simple steps which is a bit tricky to be fair to actually get it up and running and uh, you've seen how I've done it guys okay so what you need to do is if you're not quite sure how to do it yourself all you need to do is wind the video back and go through the whole process again and that will show you how you can blank out that screen so hopefully guys hope that helps for you uh, that's the end of this bonus and uh, till next one thanks bye now